Hey traders, today is Thursday, November 17th. Market's not even closed yet. Still got two hours and 47 minutes to go. But I wanted to just go ahead and start the, start the recording now. Start the commentary. Astonishing. Okay, why, why am I saying it's astonishing? Because the epiphany I had this morning, that this is, this is a rising channel, and that it was my hope that we had found the bottom of the channel this morning appears to, at this time, to be coming true. And why do I say that? We have a trend reversal now, okay? We have, okay, here's the, here's the five minute. Here, let me uh, <clears throat> show that to you. TQQQ. For the last two days, it has absolutely failed miserably to recapture the five minute EMA 50, recapture and hold, right? It, it, for the last couple of days, it, tr it went up, it tried to back test, but ultimately failed back test. But now look where it's going. Boom, 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 boom. It's not even like coming back to the EMA 50. See that? Look at that. Look at that gap. Look at that gap. And, and now it's, it's, it's passing the 30 minute, uh, time frame. EMA 50 right here, right there. See that? And uh, if you guys recall yesterday, uh, I held some, I held some, some calls over because I bought the calls and I was up 10% only to double bottom yesterday. And so, and then we went, we gapped down this morning, right? Because we were, we were gapping down to find the bottom of the channel. And so right now I'm currently down 10%, but that was from yesterday. That was the call I bought yesterday. But uh, I think I might actually be able to break even today because it, it's not going to take that far to t take that much to uh, get back to break even on um, on calls on options. Okay, I want to show you guys something. This is this is what I showed uh, in this morning's stock market outlook when it occurred to me that we were in a rising channel. That I said in the outlook this morning. For the last five trading days, you know, one, two, three, four, five, we have been trending at the top of the channel. And for the last two trading days, we are we are just simply back testing to the bottom of the channel. So check this out. Watch, watch one of this is the one hour or one hour chart. TQQQ. So see that? When I zoom in, this is this morning. It went just below the channel, came back up, and back tested, and now it's it's heading up. Let me zoom out. See, top of the channel, bottom of the channel, bouncing off, and now it's going back to the top of the channel. I think that's where it's going. Okay, so, um. Yeah, very fascinating. And I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you guys some food for thought or conspiracy if you want to call it that. Okay, well before I do that, check this out. So this is the one hour chart. So hold on a second. Okay, let me zoom out so you can kind of see it. Okay, see see this red line that I drew? right here it's tough to see when i zoom in but when i zoom out you can clearly see that is an ever so slightly higher low than this point ever so slightly see because when i when you when you watch when you draw the line completely out when you watch the line extend out that is not even right it's going lower as you go this way so this pivot point on the macd on the one hour is slightly higher than this point Right, it's very, very slight. Here, let me let's see what, how that looks. Okay, well, that's more even. But either way, it's it's even. It's not a, it's not lower. Okay, so be that as it may. So, and as you see here on the MACD, the the here we go, the MACD line separating from the signal line let's just see if it holds though you know i don't want to i don't want to count my eggs before they hatch okay but 
Okay. Let me share with you guys some conspiracy. I drew this line up there just for, for grins. I'm like, you know, this looks just way too perfect. You know what I mean? It looks way too perfect. So, so I contend there's something about this 10, 13, Date. That was the that was the day uh, CPI September CPI yeah September CPI came out on to 13 Dow dropped 500 points right here this big honk and red red line only to come back up and finish plus 800 something for the day I don't remember exactly what it was but that's what it was it was crazy and I've said this in previous videos I said you know and here, here's the MACD. You see that? It was coming up, 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 up. Fall down and boom. It just ended up taking off. Here, let me uh, show that. There we go. Right? It just took off, right, from there. I contend that all of these, these points, these decisions, are already predetermined. Yeah, it's on a predetermined path. The question becomes, how do you... I mean, there's there, there's a thousand patterns in here, right? You can draw a thousand different trend lines, a thousand different ways, right? Depending on how you want to look at it. You want to draw it horizontally, you want to draw it diagonally like I am, right? There's, there's, a, hundred, there's a thousand angles you can come at this with. So I'm not saying that, oh, well, you know, why can't you figure this out? Because <laughs> I didn't figure it out until I think this morning, right? I didn't see it. But see this red line, this big red line. Let's let's follow it, and I'm and I'm starting from ten thirteen. The reason why ten thirteen is significant, because ten thirteen I think is at least for now a bottom. For 2022 i think it is i really think it is and i think it already started carving out the angle of the stock market that leads us to today okay let me show you what i'm talking about okay so you see see that see that wick see these wicks and then you see the bottom of that Okay, let's just keep following this. Let's just keep following this big red line. Okay, pull this down. See that? It's going through the bottom of this, 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 this. Going through the bottom of that, 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 that. Right? You know, it's going through that. So, what you have is, this is just a huge surge. But you guys, in statistics, you call what we call is the regression of the mean, regression to the mean, okay? If you assume that this big red line is the mean, this must regress. And you notice, as I pointed out earlier, you notice these contact points, that contact point, that contact point. Oh, look, this contact point. And look at that. Oh, that contact point. Okay, so you went up significantly, so therefore you must go down significantly for balance. Okay, only to come back up significantly. And look, coming back down. Oh, you're touching, you're kissing the trend line again. See that? Boop, I'm going to go back up. Only to come back down significantly like really significantly right okay just follow me i know this seems like it's crazy crazy storytelling but this is a significant re re regression from the mean right we can all agree to that because the mean the mean is up here okay so all the way down all the way down all the way down but what's happening coming back up coming back up coming back up coming back up 
just keep following me. Coming back up, coming back up, making a higher low. And this is when CPI came out that I still contend the markets already knew about because the MACD is going up. See that? Explosion, right? We were so far down below the mean. We have to get back to the mean. And here we are today. Is that crazy? I just followed that red line from 1013 until today. That's not, I, I don't think this is an accident. It's because when I realized this morning, I was like, Man, we're following this too perfectly. That's when I decided to just draw the line. This was basically a bet, like a best fit line. Uh, well, yeah, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Best, fit, we'll just call it best fit line. Then I decided, you know what? I'm going to follow this line all the way down. Let's see what. I was like, well, I'll be damned. It's hitting certain contact points. Okay, so. And then I said, okay, well, if this is the mean line, right, the average line, then there must be standard deviations from the line. That's the channel. That's when I drew, that's when I started to realize, oh, it has to be going up in an in a ascending channel. Okay. See, if, here, let, let's, let's check this out. That's a one hour. Okay. All right. Okay. So here's the channel. Here's the bottom of the channel. Here's the, this is the 30 minute. See, you notice how it comes down below the channel, comes up, back tests right at the channel, and then goes up. See what I mean? It's like, that's not accident that, you know, that this channel is the bottom, or at least I think, this is the bottom of this channel upper channel see what I mean now you know the bottom here let's see let me go switch I know it seems like it's it's crazy hocus pocus <laughs> but I, I know that the markets choose certain time frames you you will you hear me say that you've heard me say that in previous videos Certain time frames dominate during the day, right? It just can't, right? Oh, it's, this time it's the 30 minute. Next time it could be the 65 minute, okay? But I suspect to draw out the overall channel, I can tell you that the one hour fits pretty damn nicely. Look at that. Look at that wick. Boop, kissed it, right? Look at this wick. Boop, kissed it. And look at today. As of today. Comes down below. Comes back up. And you saw on the 30 minute back test. Boom. And as of right now. See, look at this. You can't make this stuff up, guys. As of right now. I'll click refresh. See if we get some more recent data. Okay. You guys know me, I love the EMA 50. That's this red line right here. Well, look what it's doing. So, okay. Came down below the channel. Came up, back test, boom, boom. Successful. At, from the channel bottom. And now it's coming up. Got rejected from the EMA 50 line on the one hour chart. Got rejected, now consolidate, consolidate, consolidate. And then it's gonna try again. See what I mean? Basically, the movements the market's been having the last, we'll just say, call it five trading days, can be explained now. It can be explained. This is the bottom of the channel. Because the bottom of the channel aligns with key contact points. Here. Here. Here, you see those, you see those wicks. I'm, it, it, see, and and this is. Well, let's have a look. That's pretty darn close to the bottom of of ten thirteen. So what I'm saying is, the market 
already determined this is the path. And I think, I think the one hour chart is what they're using to scheme out the next direction. You see that? It's just, it's just not coincidence. It's not coincidence. So when it regressed too far from the mean down here, that's a higher low than that. It had to find a way, it had to find a way to get back up to that channel line. See that? If you, if you took, if you just cut out, if you just cut out this fall, I know you, in real life you can't do that, but if you did, this, this up here is just an extension of this right here. <laughs> See what I mean? It's just an extension of it. Uh, so, yeah, that's very interesting. I don't know. I, all of this is just too much to be, oh, well, that's just happenstance. And I'm just picking hocus pocus, picking out data points to to match my thesis. I'm like, well, it's it's right there. You know, it's 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 not random. So, anyways, that's what I wanted to explain. That's that's just very interesting. So I think we're on a rising channel. How far will this go? That nobody knows, right? Is this gonna go into December? I don't know. Uh nobody knows. Okay. So having said that, see, I mean as we're talking, well, as of right now, on the 30 minute, it's, 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 it's so far. I don't want to, you know, we still got two and a half hours left to go. It's passing the EMA 50 line on the 30 minutes chart. And what do you know? VIX is falling, 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 falling. Last few days it wasn't. You guys know that. VIX is just being a butthead. I even said that in a previous video. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, VIX is being a butthead. Just hanging around, hanging around, hanging around. So why are you falling today? See what I mean? Yesterday, last two days, you've been dominant. VIX has has been dominant. But not today, right? Not today. Uh, it, as of like opening bell, yeah, it was. It was dominant. But then it was just nothing but fall the whole day. And that's because we found the channel bottom. We found the channel bottom at opening bell. At opening bell, VIX was at its strongest right here. But since opening bell, VIX has been nothing but fall, and we've been nothing but go up because we found the channel bottom. VIX, so I think VIX for the next at least couple of days, if not more, VIX will not be a problem. I think VIX is just going to keep falling as we make our way back to this line. I think that's what it was. We just needed a couple days to consolidate down into the channel and carve out the channel bottom. That's what we needed those couple days for. So if 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 this pattern holds, it would have taken two full days, two full trading days, right? One, oh sorry. One, two. Two full trading days and two full extended hours slash pre-market trading days so if you want to count them as trading days that's four four total trading sessions of back testing but then once we got to this morning once we got to this morning that's it the back test is over see fix is falling boom, 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 boom. and we did nothing but go up 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 so that's it that's the pattern we'll see you guys I'll, I'll i'll tune back in as it gets closer to close but I'm excited. That's uh, that's very interesting because I was like, man, I'm gonna have to sell my calls at a loss. I'm like, well, I'm not gonna sell it now because I think we're gonna actually go back up, and I'll, I can actually make a, you know, I can make some money out of it. So, yeah. There you have it, guys. I'll check back in a little bit later. Okay, guys, we are in the final one minute forty some odd seconds of the trading day, and I just wanted to, you know, let the whole the rest of the day kind of play out, right? Just kind of didn't want to spend too much time doing the play-by-play -play commentary because basically it was, okay, so overall the markets were down, as you just saw, right? I mean, overall they were down, yes. 
But relative to its starting point in the morning at opening bell, the markets are up. Okay, why do I say that? Because let's look at TQQQ from the starting point was down here. Went all the way up here. Resistance came back tested and is about to close right there. That, my friends, is a higher low, right? Higher low, there you have it. That is a higher low. That is, I mean, I can pretty much officially call it, that is the end of the back test, okay? So let's uh, let's look at the 65 minute chart. Here on uh, two days ago, right? It was a Tuesday, Tuesday morning, because that was Wednesday, that's today's Thursday. Tuesday, down. Wednesday, down. Thursday, started off at the bottom, came up, made a higher low. So two full days and two full, yeah, two full trading days, two full extended hours slash pre-markets. I'm, I'm counting that as four. Four total ended it. It ends today, okay? And... That's pretty much it for the day. Uh, one second to go. No, that's it. Okay, now it's officially officially extended markets. Okay. I think in extended markets tonight and futures, so we can anticipate positive futures. I think it's going to go up from here because we made a higher low finally. Look at, look at the 65-minute chart here. Let me... Show you both 65 minute and the 30 minute. Um, as I uh, stated in previous videos, check out the MACD. Look at the look at the uh, uh, MACD looks good, right? Positive up separation between the uh, signal line and the MACD line, right? Right there uh, on the 65 minute. It's just at the beginning stages of curling up. Okay. On the 65 minute, look at that big giant wick right there, right there. They're saying, oh, no, 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 no. We're buying this baby, right? See what I mean? That's a big old wick. That's big buying pressure. Don't see it so much in the in the, in the 30 minute, but it's obvious in the 60 minute, right? That's why that's that's really what I look for. I've, uh, I've mentioned this in previous videos. I, I look at the 30 minute. I look for the wicks as I'm, as I'm also looking at the five minute real time, right? It's, it's kind of hard to see wicks. I mean, you can kind of visualize it, but it's just better if it's just right there in your face, right here. For example, it's like, okay, this is telling me there's there's somebody buying it up, right? So actually, there was a lot of buying, buying pressure um, here, here, and here on the way down. So Overall, basically, we retrace, oh, we'll just call it 50%. Kind of lazy to draw the Fibonacci retracement from, from bottom to top to back. That's about 50%, roughly, plus or minus. Okay. So, um, yeah. No, I see it, it, right now it's, it's, uh, it's, it's showing um, real time. See, it continues to go up. Futures are going to be up tonight, guys. If we're going to wake up and futures are going to be up tomorrow, too. When, when we wake up, unless there's just some catastrophic something, I don't know. But I will say, I will say, futures must clear the CMA 50. It has to. It has to. It's been failing it for the last two days, right? Right here. Fail, fail, fail. Yesterday, right? Straddle, straddle, straddle. Fail. Coming up. It, it hit it. It hit it. But then it failed. Um, it failed to overtake it today. But the good news is it made a higher low. See? So, yeah. Now, having said that, let's bring over... Showed this earlier. Wanted to uh, just show you the latest and greatest. Remember when I drew the channel line here? Okay, let me, let me go back to the one hour. Okay, remember that? Remember the trusty, dusty channel line, the main channel, and then the, the lower end of the channel? That's the upper end of the channel, lower end of the channel. So, if you want more evidence that this cannot be random, look at the look at the lower end of the channel. This morning, went below it, came up above it, back-tested, and what did it do? Back-tested, and it kissed it, right? 
actually kissed it right there, went down below it, but came up above it. So it's closing with a higher, here, let me move this up. Yep, closing with a higher low compared to, you know, obviously this, and it's closing in the channel. So basically what we have here, in my opinion, is a completion of this back test that started two days ago up here at the top of the channel. We have now made our way to the bottom of the channel and basically closed right there at the bottom. And so I anticipate the next steps are to go back up the channel. See what I mean? And maybe even if it's a really good rally, go up above the channel like this one did. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, where was the weekly? Oh, do I still have it? Do I still have the weekly? Let me see. The one week. Okay. The SMA 20, 12, 0, 19. You know, it changes a little bit as the as you get more data curled down a little bit. So 12, 0, 19. Let me... Let's see here. They draw. I like the gray line. This is always a challenge. Always a challenge. Okay, where are you, buddy? Hold on. Where's that line at? Of course, it doesn't tell me real time. <laughs> I think it's right there. Here, hold on. What is what is going on with my cursor? That is so bizarre. Oh, that's close. Here, hold on a second. Twelve zero nineteen. Close enough. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so <clears throat> you guys see that? Let me draw for y'all. What is this? Right there. Okay, so that right there, my friends, is the juncture, junction between 12019, the weekly SMA 20, and the top of the channel. Let's see if that's where the next destination is. Okay. <clears throat> I, I still think it is. It just... So when we zoom out, you know, it it was in our, it was it was coming up here like a bat out of hell, getting up here in a hurry, got up to it, actually overshot it, only to come back down and back test for the last, you know, four total trading days when including extended hours and pre market. But now that I think it has bottomed at the bottom of the channel, making a higher low, you know, right, right, higher low right here. Here's the higher low to that. I think destination next is right here, that purple arrow. I think it's going to go right up to there. That's where you're headed next. Interesting. Right? So, that's what I think is going on today, guys. Um, yeah, I think uh, we can anticipate. <clears throat> Let's have a look. You know, as I, as I, as I mentioned uh, a few moments earlier, I said, I think futures are going to be up. So what do we have going on here? Futures, here, hold on. Of course, it's only three, eight minutes into it, so can't quite comment too much. Here, let me just let me just do that. You know, it's messier. Let's have a look. There's futures right now. This is the one hour. Oh, I'm sorry, the one minute. See, up, 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 up. There you go. 
So, uh, hope you liked uh, today's episode. It's actually quite critical. Um, today's episode, I think it took me about how many five trading days to realize it's an upwards channel, guys. It is an upwards trending, ascending channel. And so, yeah, this is fantastic. This is like so, uh, what's the right word? It's like a revelation, right? It's like, oh my gosh. I don't even remember when I realized it this morning. I think I was eating my cereal or something. I wasn't even thinking about it too hard. <laughs> it's usually how that goes, okay? So um, that, I believe, is all I've got for you guys today. Um, and we will probably uh, talk again tomorrow. And so... This time I won't put myself on 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 mute, but uh, you can join me on Twitter if you'd like my real time Twitter tweets. And like always, please like, share, subscribe, and notify if you find it fit to do so. And with that, I leave you guys today. Agent Double O out. <laughs>